to our workout of the day, and today something a little different. We're gonna do unilateral training today. So basically, uh, we'll use one double at a time. We're gonna work one arm or one leg at a time. Um, great way to train because you're gonna have kind of equal resistance on each side. Also, core heavily engaged with this. So it's kind of a neat way to work out. So we thought we'd bring this to you this week. Um, we're gonna set this to intervals also. So it'll kind of match any fitness level. So rather than one reps, we're gonna go for 40 seconds and then we'll have a 20 second break. And, and then we'll, so in some cases, the other side, in some cases, will be another exercise altogether. So again, one side at a time. Um, you will need a variety of weights, guys. So you'll need something really light. Uh, we have standing ladder raises as we go through the circuit. Uh, we have one arm rows, that would be something a little heavier, and one arm chest press. So you may need a variety of weights uh, as we go through these different moves. Basically, the way this program is set up, we're going to have two exercises um, that we'll go through. It'll be eight segments of 40 20 that we'll go through. We like one side, then the other, twice, and then we'll do another exercise. All right. So, um, we have four rounds, this guys. It's just under 34 minutes, so still not a huge time investment, and I really think you'll fit this routine. Um, our first circuit, and I'll just go through these circuits one at a time. So our first circuit, guys, we have a lunge overhead press, and then we're gonna go a one leg RDL, okay? And I think what we'll do is we'll do the lunge press each side, then we'll do the RDLs, and we'll go back lunge press RDLs. I'll do this with you in real time. It'll be very easy to follow along. Guys, just make sure you have a little bit of space. We'll be doing back lunges with this set. In a moment, in our third round, we're going to do lateral. Okay, so just make sure you've got a little bit of room around you. Uh, you'll want a chair or a bench also. We have one arm rows. Also, if balance is an issue for some of these exercises, I'll make mention as you go through. Having a wall nearby or sturdy chair, uh, even a bench, you may want to have that just for a little bit of balance for some of these moves, okay? Uh, love this routine. Again, it's great for any fitness level uh, because of that time element. So if you're just beginning, you may not get as many reps, okay? Also, you can up the workload. That would also make it more challenging, right? I've got the timer hooked up here again, 40 seconds. Uh, I'm going to hit start. We're going to do a back lunge and press. Guys, the weight you're holding, that side of the body, that's the side that the leg will go back, okay? So, now remember that, that leg goes back, but you're working the front leg. So I'll be working, I'll be loading the left leg and then the right upper body, especially a lot of shoulder work. Again, tying the core, some triceps. So we're stepping back, drive up, and then press, okay? Whew! Guys, it'll be a little challenging. Great routine though, all right? Let's get started. I'm gonna hit start. We'll grab the weight, put it in the rack position, Guys, the right leg is going back. We step and press tall. The other hand can help with balance. Remember to drive. We're trying to use that front leg to drive up. Inhale as you come down. Big exhale as you come up. Okay, we have 20 seconds. I'll sit this down for a moment, kind of recover, can really feel that. By the way, this is my second workout today. Same workout, I didn't record the first time, so I gotta do it again. Crazy. Okay, guys, RDLs, you could just, with two weights, 
because we're unilateral, I'm going to hold one weight going to the opposite foot. Okay? So I'll hold the weight in my right hand, go to the left foot. This is where you can use a wall, a chair for balance if you need it. Okay? Make sure the knee is soft. Coming down, lightly touch. My left knee is soft. Don't lock it out. Okay, we'll switch sides here. Now, if you're right-handed, this side might actually be harder to balance when you're on your right leg, so just be aware of that. If you need to, again, have something to balance with. Left hand towards the right foot, and coming down and up, good. Okay, guys, we have to go through one more time before we get a little break. All right, so we're, we're back to the lunge press. Remember, the side you're holding the dumbbell on is the side that the leg goes back. Here we go. So we're back. Left. A couple deep breaths. All right, starting to go already. Here we go. RDLs, working at posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes, lower back. Switch sides. Now 
and don't worry, as you saw, if you lose your bounce a little bit on a rep, no big deal. Reset and start again, all right? Here we go. Here we go. Other side. We have a minute off. Guys, our next set, uh, we're gonna split left and right now. So instead of one exercise, we're gonna do two exercises, but we're gonna do all left side and then all right side. So it'll be a press, one arm press, then a one arm row. The rows may be a little heavier, the weights will be close, but you want a little heavier weight in this one, okay? Make sure the elbow doesn't get out wide on this one. Keep the elbow come on, somewhat in and we're also converge a little bit on this one. So when you press, don't press out. Press up and come in a little bit and you'll feel those uh, muscles of the pec really engaged, all right? So I'm gonna start with the left side. A mat or towel on the floor may be helpful. I'm just gonna use the floor, I guess. I'm gonna lay down here and we're gonna start this left side. Be careful with the shoulder, be in control. So we're up. Elbows not coming out. Drive up. You notice the arm down. Good. Come over a little bit. Gotta really control that weight. You could use a bench on this. The floor keeps it a little more stable. Just don't drive the elbow in the floor. Control that weight. Three, two, one. Okay. Press. Right there. Guys, we're going one arm rows now, all right? Use a chair or a bench maybe for support. I'll use the bench here. Get this leg out of the way. So you're starting to the left, get that left leg back. We're going to the hip. Guys, try to arch the lower back, stick the chest out. Keep that back nice and flat. All right, so we're here, hands like a hook, and I'm going towards the hip, one. So I'm not grabbing this dumbbell tight with the hand. Slightly forward, and through the hip. There, guys, we're repeating the left side. Stay on the one side here. All right, so I'll get down with the floor and get ready for the second round. Guys, we have seven seconds. Really try to squeeze the chest. You guys, watch the elbow, don't snap the joint. Don't even really lock it. Just come up and squeeze the pec, all right? Go easy on the elbows, easy on the shoulders. Oh, I saw you get a nice burn in the chest. This is great. Rows again, left side. We'll finish up the left side here, then we'll go on to the right. Okay, maintain good form here. Here we go. Go 
white grip. Guys, I'll bring this over here. We're going to the right side. So I'm going to use this. Let me grab a shoe real quick. So I'm just going to flip sides here for the camera angle. Chest press on the right side. Here we go. Notice the not going super wide. Going over the body, converging to tighten. That pack. Not snapping or locking that joint. Always control the weight. There's a lot of getting up, down, up and down with this one. So now it's right side, one on rows. Five seconds. <clears throat> Okay, one more sit on the right side. Good, mind the muscle, really make that pec, really contract the top of this. Squeeze it back every time. Okay, the next one, you'll need room laterally. All right, so. We're gonna do a lateral lunge. We're gonna laterally, and then up to this wrap position of the shoulder. 
boom, the side you're going to, that knee will bend. And then up, okay? Then we'll do a warm lateral, guys, very lightweight. Threes, fives, I have eights, and that's gonna feel heavy, okay? So nothing heavy here on those lateral raises. All right, so we do lateral lunge one way, lateral lunge the other way, then our lateral raise one way, then the other. Right. Here we go. I'm gonna go this way first, so we're coming down. You're gonna feel the inside of the leg a little bit here. All right. Rest. Rest up for a second, we'll go the other way. My legs are feeling from the first time I did this. Whoo! Right. Good stuff. Strike laterally. Here we go. Lightweight here on this one. Lateral raise, I did encourage you to start on your non-dominant side, okay? Typically that's gonna be a little weaker maybe, so we'll start with that and then go to the dominant side. Here we go. Stand upright. Try not to bounce off the bottom. Let the shoulders do all the work. And you can manipulate your hand position a little bit. I'm keeping my somewhat pair on the floor. You could open it up a little bit, almost with your thumb high, if that feels a little better. Burn in there, right? And those shoulders. Here we go. Set this down. Guys, we're going back to that lateral lunge. Okay, everyone's shoulders are a little fatigued here. I think I'll start striding right first again. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go.
Dumbbell going towards that foot. Back to the shoulder. Deep breath here. Okay, guys, we have lateral raises, then another minute break. All right? Here we go. Burning. Make sure it's not joint pain. Keep that elbow soft. Guys, for a minute off, I'm gonna get a little drink real quick. The next exercise, guys, we're gonna do a plank. Hold the dumbbell on one side. Push up, drive the elbow up, kick back, come down, lightly touch. Okay, so you wanna take a little pressure off that shoulder if you need to, so you can touch for a moment and back up. Kick back, so a kick back touch from a plank position. Then we're gonna do one arm curls. This one we're doing one side at a time again, kind of like the press and rows. So we're gonna do left kick back, left curl, left kick back, left curl, then we'll switch over. Right kick back, right curl, all right? So guys, we're, we're nearing the finish line here, okay? Don't need heavy weight in this one either, okay? So kickback's pretty challenging, much more difficult than a tricep extension. So maybe somewhere around eight to 15 pounds, depending on your strength, okay? So, here we go, I'm in plank position. I'm gonna lift up, kick back, lightly touch. Up, back, touch. Tough exercise. Second of curls. Holy mackerel. Here we go.
rested arm, holy cow. Tough exercise here. And this plank, get your feet, if you get them kind of wide, it will help you bounce a little bit. All right? Tough exercise though. Okay, here we go. Left curl. That left arm's getting tired. You can go down and wait if you need to. Okay, we're gonna switch now. The left side's gonna be tired holding the plank. I know. All right. Get some deep breaths here. Shift to the right side. Exhausting. You won't need much weight. Right side curl. Oh, guys, one more, okay? These are extremely challenging. These kickbacks from a plank position, tough. Let's get through it together. We're at five, four,
slop in the last one. Wow, I'm running out of gas. That was tough. Okay, one arm curls, finish this thing up. Here we go. Oh man, let me set this down. That's my arms are just shot at the end of this thing. Wow. Hey, that was, guys, a pretty challenging routine. Um, unilateral, working one side of the body at a time. A lot of these moves, the core is heavily engaged. Uh, you may not notice it while you're doing it, but presses over the head with the one arm. Core, the rows and kickbacks, the core. Lateral lunge and pull, the core. So, uh, good stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it's something different. Maybe you haven't done this before. Maybe it's been a long time. So, thanks for watching. Guys, this is Elite Fitness. Great wellness to you.